For some people, the 1st of January 1948 was a day to celebrate. On that day, the railways of Great Britain finally came together as one whole, British Railways. It hadn't happened without a struggle, but this was the end of private ownership and the start of a new age, an age where the people owned their railways and most other forms of transport except the private car. The post-war Labour government had come to power on a promise to take control of what were regarded as businesses that should be run for the public good rather than for greedy capitalist profit. This philosophy was the direct result of the growth of the trade union movement, much of which was bound up with the lives of those who worked on the railways since Victorian times. But, sadly, the nation hadn't acquired a railway system in rude good health. The entire network was still suffering from the maintenance backlog of the war years and was no longer the predominant form of transport in the country. There was a crying need for new locomotives. The war had put paid to the expansionist plans of the big four railway companies and during the austerity years, little more than catching up on maintenance or building goods locomotives for the war effort had been possible. As the country started to recover its equilibrium, so the companies had recommenced the construction of express passenger locomotives and had started to address the problem of a large proportion of their stock still emanating from the Victorian and Edwardian eras, the so-called golden age of steam railways. Having gone through the post-World War I partial recovery of the Jazz Age, the years of depression and the false dawn of the Streamline era, the railways had been dealt another blow by the outbreak of the Second World War and the austerity that went with it. Now drawn together by government action into a unified British railways, the individualism that had gone before was to be subsumed in an ethos of standardisation, where everything was to be the same. But there were still a lot of hangovers from the Victorian age, such as hand-operated level crossings and semaphore signalling. <laughs> 